you're not the proper officer. Is that as clerk or proper officer? There's no difference between clerk and proper officer. Um, of course there is. Yes, there is. You must know the basic law. Are we going I would to have thought. Are we going to start this meeting? It, 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 isn't, it isn't the role of somebody who, however kindly, volunteers to do the clerking for a meeting to act as a proper officer if they haven't so been appointed. That's okay. against the law. Been called by and, two and, and let me also quote to you the yes, standing are. orders of Hanforth. But will you stop talking? Unless we are prepared. Will you please listen? We'll go the same way. Will you please listen? Will you stop being whatever it is you're trying to be and just clerk the meeting if that's what you want to do? Yes, points, of, points of order, according to our standing orders, are determined by the chair. If you want to raise a point of order as a councillor, you ask if you can raise a point of order, you state it, and then the chair decides. It is not for the clerk to raise a point of order. Um, it is not for the clerk to decide a point of order. And you, you, you must be aware of that, or at least God knows what you're doing in your job if you're not aware. Start this meeting, it is. or shall we elect an alternative chairman? Oh, hi, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm just in a meeting at the moment. I'm going to give you a call back when it finishes. The good reason. Okay, all right, bye, bye. So, Chairman, albeit late, shall we get this meeting started? So, I can't understand. see Jackie Weaver. It is this one then. There. Yeah. <gasps> right, we'll start the. We'll start the meeting and I want to repeat what I said at the beginning of the last meeting, that this meeting has not been called according to the law. The law no, has been broken. It has been properly Will called. you please let the chairman please, 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 please. speak? Please, please. If you disrupt this meeting, I will have to remove you from it. You can't. It's only the chairman who can remove people from a meeting. You have no authority here, Jackie Weaver. No authority at all. She's just kicked him out. I, I, no, she's kicked him out. Don't, don't. She's kicked him out. Don't. This is a meeting called by two councillors. Illegally. They now elect a chairman. No, they can't because the vice chair's here. I take charge. Uh, Read the standing orders. Read them and understand them. <gasps> Stop it. Oh, dear me. Appalling behaviour. Um, Chairman gone. A copy, of this, a copy of this will, in fact, be sent to the monitoring officer. Well, well, I hope so. Yeah. So out of those yeah. people, where is the chairman? Where is the chairman gone? Like to elect a chairman for this meeting. You don't have to elect a chairman. There's a chairman already installed. The chairman of the council. Councillor Burkle, we've been through this. You don't, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the chairman, the chairman of the council is the is the chairman of the of the uh... council. Yeah, I'm going to subpoena everybody. Uh, <laughs> Burkle, could I ask you to be to be uh, respectful to Jackie Weaver, sorry. please? <laughs> 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 Here comes the subpoena. Chairman. I want to leave. Just you go and out then. She's kicked Barry out, so I'm leaving. Don't, don't oh, Barry. Just... No, Barry has gone. Oh, I'm trying to have a team's meeting, you fool. We're trying to have a team's meeting, you fool. We can't if you've got that. Oh, we just don't this. <laughs> Jackie Weaver, I find that uh, the person on Alec Brewerton's uh, Zoom is being very disrespectful to everybody. Oh, coming from you, from Birkenhead, that sounds good. My, my, my first point is to apologise to Jackie for welcome to Handforth. May I start? Indeed, Sorry. it's nothing if not lively in Handforth. 
Yes, but I, what I would say is that it, it was um, a very good example of bullying within Cheshire East and, and the environs. John, can I make a very, very quick point? Rich coming from the chairman who hasn't held a meeting since March to try, to try and call this one illegal. The yeah. man is a complete disgrace. Okay, thank you, Peter. All right, formulate an official reply to that letter. Thank you, Roger. Yes, we will be. Sorry, we will be elaborating on that as well. Ian, Ian, you're muted. Yeah, thanks. Oh, thank you. Right. Just, um, I noted uh, before the chairman um, departed from the meeting, uh, the chairman of the council. Um, I noted that uh, his label on his video said Clark of Hanforth Parish Council. Um, could anyone please clarify how that came about and whether that is in fact the case right now? Thank you, Ian. I must admit, I didn't notice that. Um, I, I have a photograph it. of it. Um, <laughs> I can only assume it was, um, did you say it was a badge or was it actually his tag on his uh, laptop? It's it's where, like you, you see Ian Ball on my video, it yes. says Clark Harish, uh, Hanforth Parish Council on his. Yes. I have no idea how that has happened and as, and I am, as far as I'm concerned and any other councillors here this evening, he is not the Clark of Parish Council whether or not he declares himself to be or not, or makes himself a badge that says I'm the clerk of the parish council. Um, my understanding is he cannot do it. No, it is not. Um, I also have an email from him saying that he has taken over as clerk of Hanforth Parish Council. I'd like to perhaps ask uh, Jackie, if uh, could you give us a, a chart view on, on this? Yes, certainly, Chairman. Um, <laughs> Yes, most definitely. I did. Thank you. I did notice the um, um, the moniker on the uh, screen, and um, it did make it quite difficult um, putting names to, to whoever. Um, but um, having followed this quite closely, um, the chairman simply declared himself um, Clark um, and notified everybody of the case, um, and the um, remaining members um, quite correctly. Um, have you have refused to recognise that term, that position? But as um, Councillor Smith says, I'm afraid there's no way of stopping him calling himself Clark. Okay. Please refer to me as Britney Spears from now on. <laughs> <laughs> we did, um, as you know, um, put um, the disruptive members into um, the waiting room. Um, are, are we minded to allow them to um, try to return to the meeting? I'm afraid that I would be loath for that to happen because we've got work to get through and I can only see everything being um, even more disruptive. I was, I was surprised at the reaction of some of the people in the way that, you know, certainly in the Brewerton household. Um, May I interject oh, that, sir? Yes, certainly. Um, would it be um, acceptable to send a message to them to say if they are prepared to come back and um, behave in the proper manner, then we would happily have them back in the meeting. No, I, no I must, no I'm against that, Sue, because they've already disrupted the planning, okay. they've also disrupted but, the community, okay. and okay, what I felt really aggrieved at was the fact that someone in the Brewerton household sat there like a laughing hyena. That actual Bear with yes. me a second. I'm just looking for the papers which I'll ask you to be put in. Please, could Alan uh, Murdoch be brought back into the uh, meeting? Uh, who's Alan Murdoch, please? Yes, please. No, who is Alan Murdoch? It's a member of the public. public. Remember the public, yes. I've got Alan's iPad and Alan's Yes, iPad. that's him. Alan's iPad? Yes. Certainly. 
Just excuse me. Sir. Thank you. Please give my apologies to his iPad. <laughs> <laughs> No, me. Sorry, I didn't realise I was disruptive. I was being <laughs> muted. How can I be disruptive when I'm muted? You're always disruptive. <laughs> Just by looking at you. <laughs> the Neighbourhood Plan Steering Group has never formally been disbanded. As far as I'm concerned, it's still intact. Yeah. However, yeah. I think it would be very easy to uh, alter the Constitution. No problem at all. Okay. And uh, Alan? Yes, can I speak? Sorry, I didn't get a chance to uh, make any comments on this because I was in on the naughty step when we first had um, <laughs> <laughs> when we had uh, public Is comments. Is there any room on it? Um, no, not now, no. Um, would, would you like to uh, propose something, Sue? Yeah, well, let's propose that we set up a subcommittee for that very thing. A um, subcommittee of the steering group? A subcommittee of the... Yes, uh, no, it would have to be a, sub a subcommittee of the planning and environment. No, no, oh. I don't want to like that. No, no, yes, it is important. I'd like to just to check with Jackie if is that ideal? It really makes no difference. The day to the okay. next the sentence, that would be hard to do because we haven't got access to it, we're blocked. You've got act we're blocked against oh. what? On the Hanforth Parish website, we can't get on. One of the councillors from the West Ward did not attend a meeting for six months. The last meeting that was attended was in November last year. So missed December, January, February, and March, which was the last full HPC meeting. The fact that there were no meetings held is irrelevant. But that is why Ashley, I said his name there, that is why the clerk uh, sent notification to the monitor, to the, um, I will advise that the three member, members in the room this evening, currently, um, have made representations to the monitor officer. The elements of the offence are summarised in Attorney General's reference, and it's reference there. My personal opinion is that it's for political gain. <coughs> so, uh, so, uh, so there's a member of the public wishes to speak. Sorry? Peter wishes to speak. Oh, I hope he's, yes. I thought Rogers was a very measured and appropriate response actually. I think he's quite right that you should yeah, respond no, no, individually. <laughs> 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 the room. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm currently I'm quite happy to just wait. I, I, have, I have never yeah. seen such a strongly worded letter um, from a monitoring officer to a local council. 25 years, I've never seen anything like it. You've not been to Hamforth often enough. <laughs> <laughs> Glad Any more? <laughs> Sorry, Jackie, say that again. I'm just glad it's a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because otherwise it's like that. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Uh, which is why we've been walking on eggshells since uh, July. June. June. I'd yes. say glass. I wouldn't say eggshells. <laughs> my, my feet are cut to ribbons. That's if you're a scouser. Shut up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Ian, question. You're muted, Ian. You're muted. Now you go. Muted. There you go. <laughs> Good. Uh, severe lag on the system. Uh, just. Um, I think if this goes viral on the um, on the internet or Facebook, whatever. Um, it's going to start a war of words. I agree that we don't want to prejudice anything. Uh, we don't want a turf war breaking out. Um, it is not going to be finished this side of Christmas. Um, so that, that would get the that would get the flavour. I think that's a very good compromise. Yes, mm. yes. because then we are not 
Uh, yeah. Peter. Yeah, um, um, hand down. Uh, there is a vacancy. Okay, thank you. And um, <laughs> I'm trying to choose my words. You know me, I'm not off the words. Um, Can we make this recording available of the of the Zoom meeting? I don't see why not, Chairman. Of course. But if you want to listen to my dulcet tones and get bored, <laughs> uh, then <laughs> it's there and available, or will be. Thank you. That'd be interesting for uh, other okay. parties on the council to hear it. Good. Oh, we're done now. Can you have a proposal? Okay. Any in? The second Tuesday in January. Don't know what the date is. Uh, I haven't got my diary in front of me, sorry. Yeah. And uh, thank you again. Thank you very much.